Item Number SCP-1960-J Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-1960-J is currently uncontained and no practical means of either bringing it into containment or destroying it has yet been developed. As SCP-1960-J is uncontained, extremely dangerous and virtually impossible to destroy, the Foundation's current approach toward interaction with SCP-1960-J focuses on observation and study. Primarily from the safe distance of prior to the use of robotic drones, any personnel attempting to directly contact SCP-1960-J must be wearing heavy-duty full environmental suits with integrated life support systems. Description SCP-1960-J is a free-floating sphere made of white stone which moves into a continuous circular path despite lacking any visible means of support or propulsion. In addition to its unusual movement, SCP-1960-J exhibits a number of other anomalous properties. SCP-1960-J appears to absorb and or suppress sound. Personnel in close proximity to SCP-1960-J have reported being unable to hear any external noises. From a distance, SCP-1960-J is a nearly uniform bright white, but darkens appreciably as it is approached. It appears dark grey from close range. SCP-1960-J exhibits spontaneous extreme variations in temperature despite possessing no apparent internal heat source. Its temperature has been observed to vary between negative 200 degrees Celsius and 120 degrees Celsius with no corresponding change in its structure or behavior. Even when SCP-1960-J's temperature is within the range that humans find comfortable, unprotected contact with SCP-1960-J is uniformly fatal. Living beings that tragic asphyxiate and die almost instantly, and only heavy-duty, full environmental suits have been observed to prevent this effect. It draws nearby objects, including living beings, towards it as if exhibiting a compulsive effect. The strength of this compulsion increases as one nears SCP-1960-J, reaching a maximum strength of 1.62 meter per square second at a range of zero. Objects have been observed striking SCP-1960-J with sufficient force to completely destroy them, leaving SCP-1960-J essentially unharmed. SCP-1960-J is currently at a safe distance from the Foundation headquarters, but Foundation scientists have suggested that a significant change in SCP-1960-J's regular circular motion could constitute an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Exploration Log SRV-3 Robotic probe SRV-3 equipped with camera and a variety of scientific instruments dispatched to study SCP-1960-J. Probe determined that SCP-1960-J is made primarily of basalt and provided close-up pictures of its surface, but encountered numerous interruptions to wireless data transmission and ultimately ceased operating. Exploration Log A-1 While preparing for the mission, Team A-1's transport burst into spontaneous flame, burning with unnatural speed and temperature. All three team members are lost. Foundation scientists conclude that SCP-1960-J may have a psychic and or sentient component. SCP-1960-J upgraded to Keter. Subsequent missions feature fireproof materials and clothing. Data expunged. Exploration Log A-11 Three Foundation personnel dispatched to make contact with SCP-1960-J. All three were equipped with heavy-duty full environmental suits in the hopes that they will be able to survive the life-draining effect of contacting it. Beep remains in the transport to monitor the attempt and maintain wireless communications with the Foundation. Beep and Beep successfully touch SCP-1960-J and survive. Destructive analysis is authorized. And with difficulty, Team A11 returns with a small sample for study. 
Team A11 carefully attaches a range fighting device to SCP-1960J, designed to carefully monitor its precise distance from Foundation Headquarters and determine whether an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario is a possibility. Exploration Log A12 Mission parameters very similar to A11, but an increased level of supplies allows for a longer mission. A-12 is also tasked with investigating SRV-3, and Otomi returns with several components of the broken robot for later analysis. Exploration Log A-13 When drawing close to SCP-1960-J, A-13's transport was damaged by data expunged. The resulting explosion crippled the transport, leaving the crew unable to complete their mission. A-3 was able to abort the mission and return to headquarters with no loss of life. Data expunged. Exploration Log A-17 Mission Team A-17 was equipped with a purpose-built SCP-1960-J roving vehicle, allowing them to study SCP-1960-J's surface in great detail. Team A-17 detonated several explosives on SCP-1960-J to study the practicality of destroying SCP-1960-J, but the resulting damage was minor. SCP-1960-J is considered essentially indestructible. Data expunged. Authorized personnel only. In light of redacted, all future exploration missions to SCP-1960-J are suspended. No Foundation personnel are to make contact with SCP-1960-J under any circumstances. 05 Beep